Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a review of a very unique case for iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 8 Plus. It's called the Ink Case i7 Plus. It's a case that's going to provide us a second screen to our iPhone device. It's made by a company called Oasis and I want to say thank you very much for providing me the sample to review as well as sponsoring this video. And that the opinions I'm sharing with you guys is after using this case for over a week and are of my own. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out the Ink Case i7 Plus. So here is the box. This is the Ink Case i7 Plus, as I mentioned to you guys. It is IP67 rated, which means it is going to match our iPhone's IP rating. So if you do drop the phone in the water, you don't have to worry about this case. Uh, the packaging itself does come directly with uh, the device showing right there for us. You'll see it right there on the left side. This is basically the interface on the back of the device. So what we're getting really is an e-ink display on the back of our phone. Uh, and that's what's going to be able to uh, allow us to be able to use this for an extended amount of time. So if you're going to be reading articles, you're going to be reading some news or some things on that, you don't want to do it on your main device. So you can save battery from your iPhone, send it directly to the ink case, and we'll go from there. And there's a battery indicator there and some information, but we'll get into that in a second. So some of the main features, of course, sync wirelessly via Bluetooth as we were able to pair the device and the case with it. An e-reader supporting EPUB text format as well. Read it later functionality with news and article. Personalized ink case with photos and wallpapers. And I'll show that to you guys. Display agendas, tasks, calendars, clock, and fitness activities. So all of the things that you normally would care about and I have to keep turning on your device for, you can pretty much just get those and get them directly to the case. And it, you can also customize how often it refreshes that data. Looking over the specification for the case, we have shock protection, anti-scratch, e-ink screen technology, always on display, meaning the display is always on. Even if the case does shut down, you have the ability of allowing customizations of what you have on that screen. Reducing eye strain for long hours of reading as it's using the black and white simple coloring. As far as it does support the iPhone 7 Plus and 8 Plus, as in both of those devices are compatible physically. Uh, it does have this uh, 5.2 in, 5 inch e-ink display, so it's slightly smaller than the 5.5 inch display that we have on the front. It's a 540 by 960, 217 DPI. Um, weighting is about 80 grams. Dimensions, of course, is right there. Uh, navigation is a one tack button and then three, uh, three buttons on the bottom to be able to. So one of them, tack button, that's the power button and three navigation buttons on the bottom. Connectivity 4.0, uh, Bluetooth 4.0 uh, low emission and standby time up to five days if you have the refresh rate set to two every two hours. If you have it every one hour, it lasts about two and a half days. Here's the case and here's our iPhone. Um, I do want to mention to you guys real quick before we go too far. Uh, the case itself, let's take it out of this. As you notice, it's an entire case. It's made out of a really nice ruggedized material, but the case itself is encased right here, that 5.2 inch display. Uh, you do not want to ever bend this. You do not ever want to put this in a situation where you have to basically flex it. It is a display and it will crack. So when you're putting the case on and off, they do provide you with this instruction uh, manual right here. I'll let this thing focus for a second. It says you slide your device on the side in and you pop it in on the top and bottom. And when you do need to remove the case, remove it using the top part of the case. So this is the, the, the soft rubberized area where there is no display. So you peel it from the top first and then you take off your phone out of it. Never ever do you bend it like a normal case because that will damage the display. Other than that, they do give us a quick start guide for the i7 Plus. Uh, again, this is gonna be a really nice case for your device. Uh, power it on and the connector. They do also provide you with a proprietary cable connector. And what they recommend you for you here is put it in, side. So you slide it in one side and then you pop in on the top, you pop in on the bottom and that's it. The case is the phone is in the case and the main thing is we just want to make sure that we do not at any time bend this display this is a second display after all so let's look at the dimensions we have a volume button up and down we still have access to the notification toggle to be able to turn it on or turn it off let's go ahead and keep it off um, on the right side we have the power button gives us the ability of turning on the screen turning it off of course there's no obstruction to the display at the top on the bottom the speaker grill and the uh, lightning adapter are both open now remember when you're charging this phone you also have the ability of charging the case both of them are facing at the bottom side you connect the connector to the case on the back and of course you have your lightning adapter on the bottom you also need to download an application on your phone and this is called the ink case application and you're going to be greeted with four different tabs so you have four different tabs and the settings tab. Uh, the first tab is the reader set tab. Second tab is the photo tab. This is where you'll be able to customize the color of the pictures on the back. Now, right now, 
the case is off. You notice the battery is down to half. It's been running for about two days for me. Power it on. You just basically need to press the button and hold it for five seconds. And that's what turns the case on. One of the reasons why it lasts so long is because it does go through that process. Getting started with, the ink, uh, with your ink case i7 plus, press the power button and hold it for five seconds. It definitely does give you all the information that you need. So press and hold. And here it is. The screen itself is turning on the second screen with your phone ink case by Oasis. Uh, I'm going to let it finish up real quick. And then once we get to the main screen, I'm going to show you guys the navigation buttons. Now, again, this is not going to be the highest quality uh, display that you're ever going to see, but it is really, really nice. So the display itself, let's go ahead and go back home. Uh, the display is an e-ink display. I customized this picture from my phone. So if I go over here, you'll notice that's the picture I selected. I can change it here and I can just say send to e uh, ink case and I allow it to finish. Uh, but the main benefit here is we have the three different buttons here for navigation. So pressing once brings up the menu for this picture. You notice it just changed it here. Double pressing it gives us the menu option. So here is the pictures. Here is the reader. Here is the news reader. And here is pocket if you would actually use the application as well as the settings tab. And you can customize the different uh, wall, uh, I, I would say called static pages. Right now it's synced up to my phone and it's running the, the steps counter, of course, the floors, the distance for if you're running a health information, the clock. And of course you can swipe go to the right and you can ch change the different thing you have your reminders your calendar events and you can switch it back double pressing it gives you back into the actual option you can go back into the pocket reader here and you can open up articles it does have the ability of flipping between pages by using the direction going back and here we can go into the articles again same thing pressing it once brings up the menu you go to the left press ok and then these are the articles that you can load and I'll show that how you can do all of this directly from the application so we saw how we were able to customize you can load any picture that you want even if it's a color picture and it will create a black and white coloring out of it and then you can send it directly by just once you select it you can say send so I click it and say you want to send it set as a screensaver image or you can set as in case power off image which means when it's off and it goes to that static image it will keep whatever image I want. And I'm, at this point, I'm just going to say set that. It's going to pair and it's going to send it. You'll notice it's sending it over Bluetooth as they're connected together. Uh, it's not going to hinder any issues with you using other Bluetooth devices. News, you have the ability of going to the daily read and it'll bring up all the articles that you want. And then when you're done, you can read, set the option here to send and you can send either 30 minutes worth of reading, one hour, two hour, or all the articles. And those are the ones I was showing you on, on the actual in the application. Now, widgets are the thing that I was showing you guys a second ago. That's where you can customize. You have the main tab and you can select and deselect the ones that you want. And you can select up to four. So last updated up to two minutes ago, and then you can customize and go through. You can go through at the calendar and this is the reminder one. There is two different tones. There is the white, black, and then you can invert and select the other options. Last but not least, we have the setup here. You can log into the account, set it up. This is my ink case. You can log in and then select and find your device. I'll give it a second. It's detecting it again, although it is connected. Last but not least, set the language auto power off after 30 minutes, or you can set it up to be after two hours. For best performance, of course, have a long lasting standby. If you're not using it uh, over 30 minutes of inactivity, that should be more than enough. Five minutes for the uh, screen uh, saver. Of course, setting here, you can go in there, change the font size and the character, depending on what you're comfortable as far as your, for yourself. Photos, you can connect it to Twitter, customize power off image, customize screen off image, and that was the option I was showing you guys. You can use pocket or clear the cache if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about it. Auto update frequency right now is set to be two, one hour. Two hours will extend you to five days. One hour will keep you about two and a half. And that's after using it for a week. I've only had to charge it three times. Uh, of course, widget uh, units, you can set it up to be Fahrenheit, Celsius, and of course, miles and meter, depending where you are. And then of course, reader, daily news, reading, and then permission settings and so on. Other than that, it's pretty simple. You can load different options, articles into it, different pictures, and it really works very nice. I like the fact that I can turn off my phone and I can switch over and I can read the articles that I want to read on the plane, on the ride, and I never have to worry about it. Definitely a very nice accessory to your phone. It's ruggedized and it's waterproof and it provides you that second 5.2 inch display that enables you to use your main display less, which means your iPhone battery will last you even longer. So that's a really good battery saver. You can send things to it periodically. You can set the intervals of which we want to do. And not only that, you can also have it sit with you for up to five days. I want to say thank you very much to Oasis for sending me this unit to review as well as sponsoring this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this will work with the iPhone 7 Plus as well as the iPhone 8 Plus. It is not compatible with the iPhone 10 or any of the standard size iPhone 7 or iPhone 8. It does need to be the bigger of the two devices. And it, unfortunately, I'm not sure, but it also may not be compatible with the iPhone 6S Plus. So, I don't have one to compare, but I definitely know that it is made for the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. 
I'll see you guys in the next video.